Hi guys, let's talk about Mazda, the brand that's synonymous with the rotary engine. Now, as you can see here, 1920, that's when Mazda started, so that basically makes the brand 100 years old this year. Now, over the course of those 100 years, Mazda has given us some really iconic and interesting cars. You have the Capella, the 323, of course, the MX-5, that iconic roadster that paved the way for the roaring 90s that gave us the RX-7, a bunch of uh, K sports cars, as you can see here, the AutoZam AZ1, and of course, they had a go at Le Mans. But fast forward to the present day, and Mazda is largely defined by two things. The first being sky active technology, and at a time where all the rage is about SUVs, the Mazda CX-5. So yes, everybody wants to drive an SUV or, or a crossover these days and you'll find a very nice spread of them at the Mazda showroom today. But if there is one SUV that has what it takes to appeal to the enthusiastic driver's demands, well, it's most likely this, the Mazda CX-5 Turbo. Now, before we get into the part that gives the CX-5 Turbo its name, I'd like to talk about the way it looks because I think that's one of the biggest selling points of any new Mazda today. Mazda's Kodo design language has given us plenty of good-looking cars over the years and the CX-5 is no exception. I think the designers have adapted the design cues pretty well and given us a car that I think looks more elegant and fluid than some SUV attempts by supercar manufacturers. I mean, Look, you have the signature wings that make up that now corporate grill. Everything just flows so well and don't you think it looks rather fetching for an SUV? I'm a huge fan of how Mazda is bringing great car designs like this to the masses. The CX-5 after all is Mazda Malaysia's best selling model and I mean look at the rear. The rear of an SUV rarely give designers a lot of room to interpret their designs because well it's mostly just a flat slab of metal but the Kodo design language, the Mazda identity is very strong. It looks aggressive and elegant at the same time. But enough about the way it looks. You know how it looks. You can decide for yourself if you like it or not. I want to talk about this little letter in red here that really makes all the difference. Now, when we talk about turbos these days, we're often looking at low capacity, high economy engines. But with Mazda, well, let's just say Mazda doesn't always like playing by the rules. And what they've done is they've bolted on a turbocharger to a 2.5 litre Skyactiv engine and the result is it's just great. 228 horses and 420 newton meters of torque. This is basically the most powerful engine in Mazda's lineup today. And basically your well, the only way you'll get over 200 horses in a brand new car for under 200,000 ringgit right now. There's also a six-speed Skyactiv transmission, a torque converter that's well, definitely more engaging than a CVT, so it's really nice to drive. Speaking of driving, with Mazda, a lot of that driver engagement comes from that whole Jinba Itai philosophy. So to get into that, I'm going to take you to the driver's seat. Right, the cockpit of the Mazda CX-5 is a very nice place to be and you got enough height. It's very easy to get a Nice and comfortable driving position and well, most of all, it's just a very nice cabin. The interior is very refined, the materials feel nice, you get a lot of premium touches of leather, of course the seats are leather, the armrest, even the sides here, the dash, and there's, well, a lot of tech on board as well. You have an electric parking brake, the Mazda Connect infotainment system. The screen may not be very big, you may want a little bit more real estate but you can get quite a lot of things done here with the controls here as well there's sat nav you can monitor your fuel economy with the iStop feature and you can also hook your phone up via apple carplay or android auto another strong point is safety so the cx5 turbo comes with mazda's high active sense package which includes a lot of potentially life-saving features. You have things like a blind spot monitor, lane keep assist, 
and even autonomous braking to name a few. So yeah, if that's the sort of thing that you're looking for in your new car, the Mazda CX-5 has you sorted. Some people argue that Mazda doesn't make the most spacious interiors and I can't entirely disagree but well it seems here that Mazda is going for refinement more than just outright space. It does feel slightly cozy here, almost European, I mean that's kind of the direction that Mazda is headed in. But I'd say that there's sufficient room inside. There is a very accommodating 2.7 meter long wheelbase after all and even if you think that Mazda could have done a little bit more out of that footprint, well, it's good to know that they've allocated quite a good portion of it to the boot. You get 442 litres of cargo space, which is basically what you'd find in a dedicated boot of a large sedan. So yeah, it's largely a very practical car. So that's one key expectation of an SUV delivered. The other thing that many people still look for in SUVs is all-terrain capability and that's exactly what you get with the CX-5's predictive iActive all-wheel drive. Now, this isn't exactly an invitation to take your Mazda into the wilderness, but it still adds to the element of drivability and safety, especially when it pours or when road conditions are bad. Sure, almost anyone can make a big and practical SUV these days, but the Mazda CX-5 Turbo stands out from the crowd because of its very strong visual identity and that unique and extremely enjoyable powertrain. It just blends everything that we look for in a modern day SUV with the purer, more emotional aspects that make driving a joy to begin with. And if this is going to be the car that defines Mazdas of this era, well, I have absolutely no problems with it at all.